Good day, folks. I'm Dean Boerter, aka Ron Burgundy, and you are watching episode 7 of One Small Seed's online news show, Boom Plus 27. With the shortest day of the year now out of the way, we're all feeling a bit more stoked about life and the shit it tends to throw at us. So, some of the highlights of the episode include an on-set account with Cape Town band Peachy Keen, sitting down with Pretoria-based band Isochronous, and an interview with David Sieverking, director of Encounters Docky, David Wants to Fly. We've also got an awesome 3D music video from John Hopkins entitled Vessel, an update on the next picture this, and two great new competitions to enter. So fasten those seatbelts, and let's get going. At just over six months old, Cape Town band Peachy Keen are surprising South Africa with their enigmatic blend of rockabilly punk and were voted best new breakthrough band by LMG magazine. Showing no signs of slowing down, this five-piece band have already headlined festivals such as the Flam Jangle Tea Party and the Cape Town International Tattoo Convention, as well as playing on the opening night at Splashy Fen this year. One Small C contributor, Amy Fugelsang, visited Peachy Keen on the set of their new music video for their track, Shot a Man Down. Visit onesmallc.com to check out Amy's experience. Isochronous is an epic pop rock band formed in late 2006 and is inspired by bands like Muse, Deftones, The Mars Volta and composers like Hunt Zimmer and Victor Wooten. Dynamic, innovative, progressive and very much open to experimentation, Isochronous is all about pushing the rhythmical and melodic boundaries within music. The next piece requires 3D glasses, so if you've got a pair from when you went to watch Jurassic Park, then whip them out, give them a little wipe and check this next clip out. Who's behind this red and blue magic you ask? His name is John Hopkins and the video is called Vessel, a classically trained musician who has forged a career for himself in the electronic genre. This is a four minute mesmerizing trip that requires no acid. Check it out for free on onesmallseed.tv. This film um, became a critical film about a guru movement um, that is by some people um, described as a cult. Our What's Your Story this week is an exclusive interview with David Sieverking, the director of David Wants to Fly, which is one of the international documentaries showing at this year's Encounters Film Fest. I was looking for a way to inner peace and found transcendental meditation. In David Wants to Fly, directionless film grad David Sieverking travels to America to meet his idol David Lynch and stumbles across an outrageous global fraud. David exposes transcendental meditation, which was started by the teachings of Maharishi Mahesh Yogi of Beatles fame, all the while taking the viewer on a whimsical, humorous and unexpected journey into enlightenment. After some complex restructuring, which has included three hernias and at least 19 bottles of whiskey over short periods of time, we will be relaunching our online photographic magazine, Picture This. Stay posted, as it will be up and running in early July. In the meantime, keep uploading your best photography and creative pieces to onesmallseed.net and you might just find your work featured on issue 13 of Picture This. She would sit there talking to you, and we'd be talking about music and so on, so on, so on, so on, so blues, guitarist or something, and she'd just go. During her time as the leading photographer for the 1960s music scene, the late Linda McCartney captured many of rock's most important musicians on film, including Jimi Hendrix, Bob Dylan, Janis Joplin, The Doors, and The Grateful Dead. To honor her photographic journey is a newly released book entitled Linda McCartney, Life in Photographs, as well as a coinciding exhibition. Visit onesmallseed.com to find out more about this inspiring retrospective, as well as to check out some footage of the London exhibition and to hear what the McCartney family had to say. I've looked at a lot of mum's work and I've been inspired by it. 
but more so for capturing an emotion rather than a jacket that Dad's wearing or a pair of boots from the 60s. Right, now for some local music news. MI Collective Creative Agency, in collaboration with Egg Films and Cosmesis Prosthetic Studios, have recently finished their new music video for Aching's latest single entitled Catch a Light. The video plays off in a dodgy hotel room and is loaded with stunts, action, blood and of course some sexual misbehaviour. We feature two new competitions this week on OneSmallSeed.tv, both already receiving a whole lot of love from all of you it seems. First up is the annual Nando's Comedy Festival, a calendar highlight where for many years hundreds of comedians from all over the world have entertained hundreds of thousands of fans. This year you can catch the legendary Pablo Francisco, Greg Berent, the co-author of He's Just Not That Into You, Mark Eddy, Michael Loftus, Eugene Causa, as well as many, many more. I want to get a good laugh. Let me go to the hot topic. I guess they're gothic. They're cool. Have you ever walked in there? Can you help me? Also just launched on OneSmallSeed.com is the Religion Clothing Competition, where for the next six weeks you can win awesome gear from their new Autumn Winter Collection. Log on to OneSmallSeed for more information. This year, the Grahamstown National Arts Festival will be held in PE. Um, no it won't, you fools. It's in Grahamstown and it will take place from the 30th of June to the 10th of July. During this period, OneSmallSeed.com will be providing you with highlights from each day, direct from our festival correspondent. If you haven't busted a nut already, we end this episode with Steel Life. Catch you next time. <laughs>